Hi buddy, this is Miyuki, and for Let's Play Mega Man X. How's that? So, last time we went over how I'm going to be playing this, as well as the uh, uh, basics to look for in this game. Um, today I'm going to be starting with Chill Penguin. Now, the reason behind that one is because Chill Penguin has probably the easiest stage, as well as the fact that he's the easiest boss. And, um, you actually get uh, a piece of equipment with pretty much no effort. Now, that piece of equipment is a, a rather... Odd, uh, odd piece of equipment, and uh, not just Mega Man X, but any other Mega Man in the main series as well. Ow! Yeah, be careful of those uh, orange things. They can, uh, they can potentially hurt. Now these bats, I hate, uh, I hate even more than uh, those pink guys from the intro stage. Um, simply because those pink, uh, those, uh, pink guys can potentially, uh, give you some sort of breathing room. These bats won't. They'll hit you, go back up, and then come back down and try and kick your ass. I just wish that this entire stage was full of those yellow guys, really easy to defeat, and really predictable, too. I just need to come up here. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, um, those uh, those blue things, yes, I, uh, I went over them last episode, but... Okay, now, now, before I continue on with that, these blue capsules are basically what gives you your equipment. Um, you see uh, Dr. Light, and he tells you, yeah, I locked you away, and here, here's a piece of equipment to fight for peace and justice. I didn't necessarily like the dialogue in the PSP version or how they completely screwed up the order. Now, the reason uh, this is an oddity, I'm pressing the sliding button, but as you can see, nothing's happening. So we come in here, we go through a big light show, our boots turn silver, and then we get the ability to slide. Now, the reason that's such an oddity is because this is the only game in Mega Man or Mega Man X that makes you get an item in order to be able to slide. In the first three Mega Mans, you you just didn't have the ability. You didn't ha uh, you didn't get an item. You you just didn't have that ability. And those ostriches, they're probably one of the most useless uh, robots um, uh, Sigma has. Now here's something uh, we're gonna run, uh, we're we're gonna run into a couple times: ride armor. Now, right armor, they're not very agile, but um, you won't take any damage if you're hit by them. If your right armor takes enough shots, though, uh, it will be destroyed and you'll be thrown from it. And here's where we have to leave the right armor behind. Does anybody know how to get it over that pillar? If they do, let me know. And those snowballs, uh, you can uh, you can destroy them. But, you know, it's just easier to dodge them. It, it's just a whole lot faster. You don't get anything for killing them, or for destroying those snowballs, so... Why waste the time? Plus, if you just want to take the hit, feel free to take the hit. It doesn't, doesn't deal that much damage. Now the boss chamber. Now, Chill Penguin is weak against uh, Fire Wave, which is... Um, uh, which is an attack we don't get. Now, most bosses have a specialty animation if you hit them with the weakness. Um, Chill Penguin does as well, it's just we don't have his weakness. And Chill Penguin's moves are just really predictable. If you get hit, then either you're just not lucky or you're doing something wrong. Me? I did something wrong. <laughs> I, I tried, uh, I tried attacking him while he was, uh, uh, while he was, uh, uh, shooting his ice at me. Like that. And by the way, if you're hit with his, uh, ice breath, um, you will uh, be frozen in place. It, there is a way to break out of it, but you know what? Best just to take the shot. I mean, his moves are pretty predictable. You should be able to defeat him uh, without without much problem. Ow! Ah, son of a bitch! Yeah, beat him without a problem, and I die. What hypocrisy! So anyway, I try again. And there are checkpoints. There's uh, two checkpoints throughout this. Uh, there's uh, three checkpoints. Sorry, throughout the stage. The uh, the, fir uh, the first, uh, the first, where you come in, uh, a midway point, and uh, just before, uh, just before the robot master. Yeah, his moves are just really slow and easy to predict. 
Die, bitch. Yeah, if, if he uh, goes back, uh, that that's your cue to climb on a wall because either he's gonna be um, uh, doing his chill breath, at which point if you're uh, if you're too close, um, you're obviously uh, going to get hit, uh, you're gonna get frozen, or or he's going to uh, uh, start sliding. And if he jumps, uh, typically his jump is just too slow. It, his jump is just really slow. You can slide under it, or uh, uh, you can just slide under it. Or if you're hit uh, hit by a wall, you know, uh, or uh, if if you hit by that uh, uh, blizzard attack when he's uh, hanging on the ceiling, just go to a wall. When he comes down, hit him. Just really predictable. So the attack we get: shotgun ice. Now, this is actually going to be a really useful attack for our, uh, for the next boss. Uh, not just the next boss, the next stage. And we're going to be fighting this guy, Spark Mandrel. I guess he's supposed to be some sort of baboon. How a baboon has electricity in him, I couldn't tell you. Now those electric, uh, those electric things do uh, do deal a fair amount of damage, so be wary of them. If you get hit, don't get discouraged. So just jump right over them. Now here you're gonna see some orange things. Those, um, it's best just to take a shot from them. Don't try to kill them. You can destroy them, but. They just move too fast. Best just to just to take the hit as long as you won't uh, uh, go over the edge. And and if that happens, just uh, just hold hard uh, hard to the right, and you're gonna climb onto the wall, M making that wall climb a really useful ability, Pro probably the most useful in uh, in the game. Now here's where shot uh, no, uh, here's where shotgun ice becomes really useful. Because uh, those, um, uh, if you miss, it'll uh, it'll split, um, uh, and ha having a better chance of hitting him. And if uh, if it doesn't split, you know, it's still a really useful ability. And that water attack that he has holds you in place. Shotgun ice will actually dissipate it right away. It's a very useful uh, useful uh, weapon here. And if you get a, a weapon power up without a weapon uh, equipped, it will actually um, uh, start filling up the weapon that has uh, the least amount of power left. So that's really useful. It, it's nice that they gave us the equalizer right away rather than making us get an item a, uh, a la Mega Man 5. God, I hated that part. Wasn't it Mega, wasn't Mega Man 6 that... Uh, Gave you the equalizer as a as a weapon. Actually, I actually think it was six. Anyway, yeah, feel free to kill everything because um, you actually need uh, some of the stuff that they drop. Now these turtles are another one of the most use, uh, useless uh, robots Sigma has. It j just destroy them. And this heart right here, basically what hearts do is increase your life by, max, uh, by a maximum life by 3 pixels permanently. There is a way to get that without any specialty item. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and skip it. I might post up a video because it'll take a while. It requires uh, a lot of precision. However, you know, why waste the time? All right, let's just get through this and uh, get the spark mandrel. Spark mandrel. Now, spark mandrel is weak against ice. Now, I might end up having to use uh, uh, use my uh, X Buster for this guy. And now, if you have enough power, uh, uh, enough uh, enough uh, power to defeat this guy, you can actually pr uh, potentially keep him from moving. Because um, when you hit him with his uh, with his weakness, he will freeze in place. 
When his arms start coming down, that's your cue to, uh, to hit him again with, uh, with shotgun ice. Yeah, I'm going to have to resort to my X-Buster. Power up. Come on, don't drop on me. Ow. All right, I beat him with one pixel left. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> Wish they would have given me more power. Now let's see what weapon we get. You get electric spark. This weapon isn't exactly that useful, but it's really useful for the next boss we're going to be fighting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fight him next time in uh, Armored Armadillo. This thing right here. Uh, on that, I will see you all then. I will see you all on the other side. Hasta lasagna.